We're at the HR Expo. We have a chance to meet Brad. And Brad, what is it that you do here? I'm a regional manager for Subco. I cover the South, so we have a bunch of new products, anything from capacitors, hard start kits to umbrellas and solder welds. How long have you been in the trade, Brad? Um, I've been with Subco going on eight years. Eight years, that's pretty impressive. Do you enjoy this? I love this. I love it. You know, so many people I talk to, they really love HVAC. What did you do before HVAC? Before HVAC, I was in logistics. So I basically was stuck in a warehouse, <laughs> packing some boxes and making sure that semi needed to go to the correct spot. Yeah, which is important too, but now you got a trade you really enjoy, something sure. that nobody can ever take away from you. Exactly. So if somebody wanting to start into the trade, what advice would you have for somebody wanting to get started in HVAC? It's great to learn a blue collar trade, a trade that everybody's gonna need forever. You always need heating and cooling. That's absolutely right. What's the thing about it you love the most? There's always new products, new people. You're always learning something new. The industry changes daily. That's absolutely right. And we think about HVAC, your thermostats, your basic residential stuff, or even commercial stuff. What's well, also you got the manufacturing side, you got people developing new products, uh, distributors, all this whole other lifestyle of HVAC that exists is all extremely important. Now there's all kinds of cool stuff that we can show you. Brad has come in with Solder Weld and he has a really cool demonstration he wants to share with us. Brad, you want to show us what you got going on? So this demonstration is for aluminum repair. Right now out on the market you have a couple other aluminum repairs, but the difference between solder welds is our alloy soil is the melting point. It melts at 600 degrees. The melting point on aluminum is 1200 degrees. So some of the other ones out on the market melt at around 950, 1100 degrees. So those don't give you much room to play with. This gives you some room to play with. All you need is a map gas torch, your flux, and a hole. So it's really simple. All you got to do is you're going to heat up your rod a little bit. You're going to dip it into the flux. And from there, you're going to put it over your repair hole. So you're just very lightly heating it up. You dip it in just to get enough flux to cover your hole. So the flux, the cool thing about the flux, once it hits the hole, it's actually gonna start cleaning. So all I'm doing is melting that flux right on top. Another thing about our flux is it turns white. So when you're ready to go again, just get your flame going, keep it even, it will go clear. Clear is letting you know you are at the proper temperature of 600 degrees to lay your rod down. So as you can see, it's starting to change colors. And right as it goes clear, and now you have fully sealed that hole. And the other cool thing about it is, is you can take your wire brush and it's perfectly color matched to that aluminum. Oh, wow. But now you have a full bond and that hole is no longer there. That's pretty cool. I haven't got to use this product before. I have no affiliation with Solder Weld or with, I don't have any affiliation with Supco. Just came up, saw really cool products, made sure I wanted to share that with you. Do you have anything you want to add for people coming into the trade or anything to add about this process? Have fun with it. Just always be learning something new. There's always something new coming to the market. That's right. You know, there's all kinds of new things and all kinds of changes and we're dealing with more and more aluminum. Uh, on the evaporators and even line sets now than ever before. And regardless of what people's opinion is on that, we're going to have leaks, we're going to have to figure out a way to fix it. So I recommend trying this product out, putting some holes in and practice with it and see, uh, see for yourself. But it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, I can't wait to try this on my own and see how it works.